Uh, so, hello, I'm Josh Acasiano. I'm a junior at Judge Memorial, and I'm interviewing. Uh, I'm Alex Zhang. I'm also a judge at Judge Memorial Catholic High School. Um, so, just wanted to start things off by talking about, uh, so we've been in quarantine for a couple of weeks now. Um, how, how are you and your family handling it? How are you guys doing? Uh, we've been good. Stuck inside a lot. Uh, we, I think we've done a good job staying active, going outside. Um, maintaining social distancing, but we've all been healthy and getting stuff done that we need to get done. So, um, so well, as of I think it was Friday, right, May first, our state opened up. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I think it's a step towards a goal that we all want to see happen as soon as possible, and I think it's important that. Um, we still maintain social distancing and obviously follow the rules that the governor has laid down um, because everyone's health is still the number one priority. And even though we are moving towards reopening and taking life back to normal, we still haven't beaten the virus. So I think it's just important to keep being safe and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so we've been stuck inside for a while. How's online school going for you? Um, it's been tough. Personally, I've struggled sometimes to find motivation. I'd say during the um, first week or two, before spring break, really, I was up early. I made a checklist of everything that I needed to do for each of my classes. But um, post spring break, it's definitely been a lot more difficult, especially seeing how close we are to the end of the school year and sleeping in stuff like that but it's it's been a challenge but I think our teachers and everyone has done a good job yeah um so being on online school and just being stuck at home what have you found challenging and also what have you found that you've learned like while being in quarantine um again I've kind of found it challenging to stay motivated and sometimes even just things to do um and then what i've learned only been able to spend a lot of time with my family which has been nice and um during the school year i'm busy a lot with sports and homework and my parents are working so um during that time it's really hard to you know, spend good quality time with them. But now that we're all stuck at home, I've really enjoyed being able to be around them a lot, so. Yeah, I agree with that, that's really important. Finding out that your junior year was cut short a couple weeks ago when we found out we're not returning back to school, what were your first thoughts and probably like different thoughts now on what the situation is? Um. Personally, I've kind of been relieved. Um, school has definitely been a really heavy toll for me, um, especially with the class load that I took on. Um, and I felt like I've been able to do things on my own time. So it's kind of made balancing school a lot easier. Uh, but I'm definitely disappointed about not being able to see my friends, um, no spring sports or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And um, especially for a lot of my senior classmates and friends that they haven't been able to you know, finish out all the hard work they put in for graduation and stuff like that. Um, so just giving a background, Alex is our catcher for our baseball team. Uh, so we know that baseball is a spring sport and obviously it got cut short. Being a junior, you know a senior that's on the team, but as a junior, how does it feel that just having your junior year cut short? Because I know that's an important year especially for recruiting and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think for anyone, freshman through uh, senior, it's really hard to put in, all, put in all the work ever since we started playing games in the spring, working out in the fall, especially in the winter too. Um, it's just kind of a disappointment and then a letdown, um, really not to be able to, you know, finish out all the hard work we put in towards um, just trying to win. Um, and the missed time and camaraderie that I'm not able to spend with my teammates and while I'm stuck inside is, it's sad. Yeah. 
No, I agree with that. That's tough, especially for your season to be cut short and uh, one of our seniors on the team to have his season cut short. This situation being so quick, um, having everything cut short, a lot of cancellation of things. It's our senior ne- senior year next year. What's one or a couple takeaways you've gotten from like having our year be affected? Um, definitely not to take anything for granted. Um, I'm definitely gonna, you know, every day that I'm at school with my friends, whenever we hang out on the weekends this summer, um, just breaks from school, stuff like that. I think I'm gonna really, um, the time that I get to spend with people, I'm gonna try and enjoy it as much as I can and do things that I really enjoy because with how quickly the coronavirus came on and infected our lives, I mean, one day it was, um, we were playing a game and the next thing we knew the NBA season was canceled just after. And from there, everything kind of started to shut down. So I think with just how things quickly, how quickly things can change, um, I just think it's important to value what I have right now. Definitely. Um, so I'm pretty, I don't have any more questions for, do you have any final thoughts or anything you want to get out there before I end this? Um, I just think people need to keep being safe, uh, make right decisions, prioritize your health. And obviously there are a lot of other people around the world that are counting on, we all count on each other to, um, continue being safe and making sure no one gets sick because we don't want. We don't want to lose lives. So, highly agreed. Highly agreed. Um, so I appreciate you being on here, taking the time. This is our second time doing this because we had technical difficulties the first time. So I appreciate you coming back. Um, hope to see you soon. So appreciate it. Thank you. I'm honored to be interviewed by Josh Cassiano. So thank you. Thanks.